One of the topics that could earn you a number of points in your PMP exam is understanding the cost baseline. In a nutshell, a cost baseline is a predefined metric of a project against which we measure the project's progress in terms of cost. In order to monitor and control your costs, you should have a predefined project cost baseline for your project. The project's work is executed throughout a period of time, and each work package results in specific amount of cost for the project. For example, we have the work package number one, and we estimate the costs for all the activities in that work package. Next, we add the contingency reserve to our cost estimation. Contingency reserve in a project is designated for the known risks in the project, or in other words, it's allocated for the expected uncertainties in the future of the project. Expert judgment is a necessary tool in order to estimate the contingency reserve for each work package. And bear in mind that the contingency reserve for each work package is estimated separately. For the work package number one, first we estimate the work package cost, then we add the contingency reserve. We do the same for work package number three and the last work package in our project. Accumulation of these cost estimations for each work package translates into the S-curve of the project. In project management terminology, we call this the cost baseline of the project. As I mentioned earlier, the contingency reserves are allocated for the expected risks throughout the project's life cycle. What about the unexpected risks? Or in the project management, we call it the unknown unknowns. In order to take necessary measures against the unexpected risks in the project, we have the management reserves. The project manager has the complete authority to use the contingency reserves throughout the project's life cycle. But in order to use the management reserves, there should be an approval from the senior management of the project, for example, the project sponsor or the CEO of the company. I hope you liked the video. If you enjoy our content, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Besides that, we post useful information about project management and civil engineering in our Instagram and LinkedIn pages. If you are interested, you can visit and follow those pages as well. Thank you very much for watching.